Hi guys, so I'm going to read Strange Tales number 105. So this is a Human Torch story. So the Human Torch flames into action again. The return of the wizard. The evil genius who has sworn to destroy the torch. I expected you to try that. Oh. The wizard's force field can't stop me. I can always fly above it. I expected you to try that torch. You'll, you will find the wizard is prepared for you. Why did the Fantastic Four let the... Torch, handle that fortress single-handed. His flaming powers won't be a match for that fiend's wizardry. The Human Torch starring in The Return of the Wizard. Plot Stanley, Script Larry Lieber, Art Jack Kirby, inking Dick Ayers, lettering Art Simic. Settle back and get a tight grip on yourself, for you are about to witness another thrilling encounter between the Human Torch and that evil genius of crime known as The Wizard. You are a fool to accept my challenge, Torch. You're in my trap, and you'll never leave here alive. I've heard all those threats before, Wizard, and I'm still here. And the guys that made them aren't. In their previous encounter, Strange Tales number 102, this Torch defeated the Wizard by pretending to possess superpowers. Without even touching your photos, I'm making them float over to me by the power of my mind. It's true! Your will is stronger than all the laws of physics. And only after the wizard was captured did he learn that the torch's great mental power was really the invisible girl. It was a neat trick having to carry the wizard's pictures over to me. He really believed that they were moving in the air by themselves. But even a prison term cannot change the master of crime. The fools think they can keep me locked up. But my superior intellect has already devised a plan of escape. The first phase of the evil scientist's plan calls for his becoming a model prisoner. And, so successful is he, Because of your excellent behavior, I'm going to make you a trustee and allowing you to work in the prison hospital. Ha! Just as I planned. Exactly what I wanted. A chance to work with chemicals. In my hands, these seemingly... Harmless ingredients will soon become a powerful weapon. A few, few days pass, and then... This serum I concocted is powerful enough to burn through the strongest substance. The following night, in the seclusion of his cell, all I need to spill is to do is to spill this liquid on the wall of my cell, and within a few seconds, my secret formula has eaten a hole large enough for a man to pass through. Not for nothing am I called the wizard. Moments later, Holy Hannah, the wizard has escaped! Sound the alarm! Through the wall, after him! He can't have gotten far. We'll overtake him. They fell for it. They saw the hole and assumed I had dashed through it. Now, while well, they're chasing me out that way, I'll just leave by the cell door which they unwittingly opened for me. How like child's play is it? to outwit my mental inferiors. Minutes later, The torch is the only living human who ever defeated me, and he shall pay for it. I won't rest until I've destroyed him. But before the wizard can attend to the torch, he must take precautions to ensure his own safety. This he does upon arriving home. The police, they expect to recapture me here in my private estate. Surely they don't think I am witness enough to have him left on myself unguarded. My best, the, our best chance is to run to the house. Smitty, Joel, cover the back. The rest of us will break in through the front. But when the officers try to reach the house, Oof! What in blazes? There's some kind of invisible barrier around the building. I, I can't pass through it. As long as I keep the electromagnetic force field turned on, nothing can reach me. It's a standoff. The wizard can't come out, and we can't go in. Next, the diabolical scientist phones a local television station. And that night, the wizard challenges the human torch to battle him again, to decide who is the greater man. So that joker's looking for more trouble. Well, I'm just a guy. No, Johnny, you mustn't. What do you mean I mustn't? My reputation is at stake. I'll make that egghead rue the day I was born, or he was born. Flame on! I said no. Members of the Fantastic Four don't get into fights just to satisfy their own pride. 
So you just let the police handle him, little brother. If Sue thinks I'm going to chicken out a fight in the wizard, she's batty. I'll just create an imitation human torch, so old Mother Hen won't know I've left. I'll attend to the wizard and return way before Sue has a chance to wise up. But a few minutes later, Johnny must be experimenting again to prolong his flame period. Period. I'm sorry I was so curt with him before. I'll try to soothe his feelings. Hi, Johnny. How's it going? Johnny? Why don't you answer me? Johnny? It, it's not Johnny. It's a duplicate fiery figure. That fool brother of mine's gone after the wizard, despite my warning. Alarmed, Sue contacts Fantastic Four headquarters. But you must help him, Reed. No, no, Sue. Johnny has to grow up and stand on his own two feet sometime. The thing and I won't interfere with this. You tell her, pal. And so the impetus teenager is on his own as he flies to meet the wizard's grim challenge. Look, it's the human torch. He can capture the wizard if anyone can. Welcome, my fiery foe. I shall lift the force field long enough for you to pass through. But if the police try to slip by with you, I'll blast them to kingdom come. The electromagnetic force field is removed, Torch. You may come through to my house. The rest of you stay back. The wizard doesn't make idle threats. You're making a big mistake letting me enter that cornball force screen of yours. Because I'm not leaving without you, wizard. Those are bold wor words for one who is in mortal danger. Even you cannot dodge a shell in time. Boom! I don't have to dodge it because my flame is my protective force field, and it's just as effective as yours. Got any more shells you want to have melted, Wiz? So, you're invulnerable to artillery, but I do not gloat too soon. I have other, more potent devices awaiting you. In an asbestos lined dungeon! That's the trouble with you geniuses. Your knowledge is so advanced that you often forget simple, basic facts. Such as the fact fire is lighter than air, so the human torch doesn't fall through trap doors. Now that you are off guard, I'll subject you to this powerful nerve gas, which even you cannot withstand. I can't. That's why I'm creating a wall of fire, to keep the gas from reaching me. You are indeed clever, Torch. But so far I have been merely toying with you, testing you. But now... Wait! The alarm is ringing! Someone else has entered the house! Clang, 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 clang. The wizard rushes to the video scanner and flashes it on. The instruments indicate the intruder is in room 34, but I cannot see him. There is only one possible answer. It must be the unseen member of the Fantastic Four, the invisible girl. She must have entered the, tor the house with the torch. Grabbing a simple-looking spray gun, the wizard races to room 34. The torch will keep until I dispose of the invisible girl. He'll get lost wandering around trying to find me. This spray is a special invention of mine, which I have kept for just a, such a purpose. I merely spray it around the room until... Ha! There you are! The spray bot brought out your normal image, as I knew it would. Now I'll raise the automatic wall panels and leave you there in your little cage. He was prepared for me. I blundered into a trap. The walls have risen too fast. I can't get out. His entire mansion is just one terrifying hazard after another. I'm helpless in here. Precisely. And it's not the worst of it, my meddlesome female. By planting this device in the wall, I inexorably seal your doom. So there you are. I was afraid you skipped out. Not a chance, Torch. I was merely preparing a new test for you. One that will make the others seem like child's play. Your female partner, the invisible girl, is imprisoned within the, these walls. But if she does not escape within five minutes, an explosive which I have set up will finish her forever. Why, you miserable. Save the epitaphs. You have only five minutes to rescue the girl. But to prove that I am not completely heartless, if you flame off... I'll let you enter the room without having to burn through the wall. Okay, I'll buy that, but I'll try a trick and I'll... A trick? The wizard needs no tricks. There, I have kept my word. You have joined my other victim. Johnny! 
and now farewell. I doubt we shall ever meet again. In fact, I doubt that either of you will meet anybody again. Oh, I know what you are thinking, Torch. You are thinking that you have only to flame on and burn your way to freedom. But it is not that easy. Hurry, Torch. We haven't much time. Attach to the bomb is a hammer and bell device. If the temperature in the room increases by one degree, the hammer will hit the bell and detonate the bomb. So you dare not use your flame. We're not licked yet. Quick, Sue. I'll boost you up. It's just too high. I can't reach it. Naturally. Now let us see. Oh, naturally. Now let us see how clever the torch is. Without as much vaunted flaming power. Oh, Johnny. We're beaten. No. We've still got one chance. Creating a small fireball of intense heat. Johnny hurls it towards the hammer at super speed. Just pray I don't miss this shot. The heat of the fireball triggers the hammer. But before it can hit the bell, the fireball hits it and melts it. Y you did it! Yeah, but we're still not out of the woods yet. The bomb is still set to explode at the end of five minutes, which is only ten seconds from now. I gotta melt this wall fast. We're in luck. Here's the bomb. But we've only seven seconds to pull it its teeth. Fly, Johnny! Fly away! At least there's time for you to save yourself. And leave you? Forget it. Here, I'll make a catapult of flame and... Three seconds later, the fiery catapult hurls the bomb skyward, blazing through the roof of the house. Into the air where it explodes harmlessly. <laughs> and now an, it's an angry, vengeful torch who grimly burns his way to freedom. The wizard has had his chance. Now it's my turn. Be careful, Johnny. He's still dangerous. They've escaped. I need time to devise a new plan. Look, he's getting away. That's what he thinks. Watch this. When the temperature of those fire alarm thermostats gets too hot, like now, they automatically turn on the sprinkler system. The wet floor, slippery. Ugh. You blasted brat. I'll show you. Torch, he's got some kind of gun. Don't worry, Sue. Fashioning a flaming saw, the torch hurls it as the wizard recoils nervously before he can fire. Look out, wizard! Huh? You got him! Or you got him! He didn't know my little fire saw was carving a hunk of plaster over his head. Is this the lever that controls the force field? Yeah, switch it off so the police can enter the house. Moments later. You did a swell job, Torch. You can remove the flame lasso. We'll handle the wizard from here on in. He's all yours, fellas. And this time, he won't escape from us. If he, Even if he does, he'll have to reckon with the human torch again. If he's smart, he'll stay in prison where he's safe. As for me, I better hurry home. My flame is starting to get weak. Meet you home, sis. Finally, at a quiet little co cottage at the outskirts of town. Johnny? You deliberately disobeyed orders by tackling the wizard yourself. Reed will be furious with you. It's a lucky thing I went after you to help you. Sure, sure. A little more help like that and I been, have been cooked. Take that, you ungrateful little beast. That's the trouble with gals. No sense of humor. The end. So, hope you guys enjoy this video. If you could like, comment, and subscribe, that would be appreciated. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later.